Welcome back. Today we'll be searching for more Nevada State historical markers. To be more specific, marker numbers 121 through 125. So in this series, we will dedicate our entire search in Douglas County. Let's go ahead and get started at marker number 121, Mottsville. Mottsville. This is the site of the settlement on the immigrant trail known as Mottsville, where Harry M. Mott and his son Israel settled in 1851. Their homestead was the scene of an impressive number of firsts in Carson County, Utah Territory. 1851, Israel Mott's wife, Eliza Ann Middow, was the first white woman settler. 1854, Miss Israel Mott opened the first school in her kitchen. The Mott's second child, Louisa Patrice, was the first white girl child to be born. 1856, Judge W.W. W. Drummond held the first session of the United States District Court of the 3rd District of Utah Territory in the Mott's Barn, built in 1855. 1857, the third child of the Mott's died and was buried in the yard. This tiny grave was the first in what became the first cemetery. The cemetery is all that marks the site of Mottsville today. Cemetery located 500 feet east. Nevada State Historical Marker, number 121. Now let's travel a little over two miles south on State Route 206 to our next marker. Located on the corner of Canyon Creek Court and State Route 206, we find marker number 122, Sheridan. Sheridan. In 1861, a blacksmith shop, a store, a boarding house, and two saloons comprised the village of Sheridan. The village had grown up around Moses Jobs General Store, established prior to 1855. The Surveyor General, in his 1889-1890 biennial report, stated that Sheridan was the metropolis of the Carson River West Fork farmers. The Sheridan House, erstwhile boarding abode, has been converted to a dwelling. It may be seen across the road. It is all that remains of the metropolis. Moses Job, an irrepressible man, climbed the peak above you, planted the American flag, and with a shout named the peak after himself. You are looking into Job's Canyon. To its left is Job's Peak. To its right is Job's Sister. Nevada State Historical Marker, number 122. Next, we will need to travel 15 miles north. Eventually, we will end up on US 395, just south of the Carson River. Unfortunately, this marker had been removed for reasons still unknown. But luckily, I have some old photos in my archives of this marker in its original glory. So let's take a look at our next marker. Marker number 123. Cradle Bob Bridge. Cradle Bob Bridge. The remains of Cradle Bob Bridge, built in 1861 by William Cradle Bob, stands a quarter mile westward. This bridge shortened the distance from Carson City to Aurora in the then booming Esmeralda Mining District. There were two routes from Carson City south to the bridge where they joined, crossed the river, and headed into the desert. One followed the west side of the Carson River. The foothill alternate went via Jack's Valley and the old John James Ranch, then around the hill to the bridge. Five miles south of Cradle Bob Ridge, the road passed Desert Station, a lively holstery, and beyond, the 12-mile house en route to Esmeralda. The road and bridge were purchased by Douglas County in 1895 for $5,000. Nevada State Historical Marker, number 123. So let's head south on US 395 for about five miles. Located on the northbound shoulder of US 395 is going to be our next marker. Marker number 124, Boyd Toll Road. Boyd Toll Road. William H. Boyd was granted a Utah Territory franchise December 19, 1861 to provide a road to join Genoa to the Cradlebaugh Toll Road, the trunk line to the mining district of Esmeralda. Boyd's Toll Road is still visible to the northwest and southeast from this marker. When the telegraph line from Placerville through Genoa was strung along it in 1863, the Boyd Road was also called Telegraph Road. It was purchased by Douglas County from Henry Van Sickle and Lawrence Gilman in 1876 for $2,650. Nevada State Historical Marker, number 124. Continuing south on US 395, we will pass through Minden and then Gardnerville. About three and a half miles south of Gardnerville is Dresslerville and the Washoe Tribe headquarters. Located in the parking lot at the north end is our next marker. Marker number 125, 12 Mile House. 
Twelve Mile House. Twelve Mile House was an important stop on the road to the Esmeralda mining camp of Aurora. Mile houses like this one were critical places for rest and supplies along the early western road systems before railroads made most of the mile houses and stations obsolete. Twelve Mile House was part of a network of similar stations that ran from Genoa to Aurora, including another station on the eastern side of the Pine Nut Mountains called Double Springs. Thomas Wheeler built this important hostelry in 1859, where the east fork of the Carson River emerges from Long Valley to the south. The Twelve Mile House was so named because it was located 12 miles from Genoa and 12 miles from the Cradle Bob Bridge across the Carson River. It lay at an important crossroad in the southeast part of Carson Valley, with roads from Twelve Mile House leading southeast to Goldfield, south to Woodfords, west to Fairview, northwest to Minden, Garderville, and Genoa, and north to Cradle Bob Ridge and Carson City. Nevada State Historical Marker, number 125.